Lily, good to see you this morning. <laughs> see you this morning. We got our coffee going. Things are happening. No, just finished my bagel. Yes, it is a good Wednesday. Um, so I watched the film last night. Obviously, this is such a different character from what we've seen you in before. Mm. Be when you got this script or when you were approached about this or if you, you were seeking out this character of Grace, what attracted you to her? And you're also a producer on this as well. Yeah, I executive produced. Um, yes, congratulations on that too. That's awesome. I love that. It was... Um, it just further, you know, made my connection to this film so much deeper. It was already deep because of how immersed I was in Grace, but to be an executive producer was really taking it to the next level. I was involved from start to finish, which was such a amazing experience for me as someone, as an actor who's always loved the behind the scenes stuff, love being collaborative on dialogue and on just the filming process, the hair makeup design you know just I want to be a part of all of it and so to finally have that opportunity was a dream come true and um god bless Amazon for like having faith in me as a first-time producer being like okay here you go and they <laughs> they took me seriously they uh, they really respected me and my opinions as a, as a producer as well which was so mm, just gratifying I guess um yeah. I was very appreciative of it, but also just the story in general, I was very taken with the the rawness to it. I think in, in young love stories, there's often a campiness to it, a heightened reality. And although there is a little bit of that in the film, I think inherently it's pretty grounded and and more raw than what you usually see for a young love story. I kind of like to think of it as a young blue Valentine. I just, a, that. you know, just like, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's, it's told from also the male perspective, which is, which is really interesting. I think a lot of times these stories are told by a young girl who's chasing after a guy or, you know, it's a love triangle with two guys. And I, I think, um, this film just brings a different perspective that maybe not a lot of people have seen on on screen before definitely um and and obviously a lot of your fans know you as betty which they should obviously such an amazing character there too as well um do you find yourself looking at what you did here with uh chemical hearts knowing that you were part of the behind the scenes as well and and have such a title will you continue to seek out roles like this to just you know, venture out, try different areas and also continue to be behind the scenes. Yeah, I would love to continue and I am going to continue executive producing, hopefully my own content um, to star in and, and work on, but also to just work behind the scenes. I would love to just be an executive producer on certain things while I'm working on Riverdale. It would be right. a lovely, um, a lovely way to, to have my hand in multiple things. Um, yeah. So Yes, I forget what the first part of the question was. <laughs> Just a lot of fans obviously know you. Right, as, right. So yes, you know, I, taking on these different roles. I, I, I ask a lot of questions in one, so you know. That's okay, I love it. <laughs> I very much want to never play the same character twice. I would love to have the opportunity to play any and all characters and yeah. people with so like there's so many stories to tell so many beautiful stories of women to tell and i think i am, am here for all of it i would love yeah. i would, don't want to limit myself you know i would love to to um continue playing uh these women who have beautiful backstories who are even you know even hustlers like just just different different women different backgrounds different yeah. lives different personalities like that's the fun of that's the whole point of acting. I'm playing pretend, I'm playing a role. And so right. I want to keep playing these different characters. Yeah, that's something I'm definitely always on the lookout for. Absolutely. And, and obviously the romance that we see in this is from a teen perspective. Do you remember when you were in school going on your first date or did you go on dates during high school or what was it like for you? And do you still talk to the person or know the person? No, I didn't date. I didn't date in high school really. I went on like a, like dates kind of, like double dates, like movie theater dates in middle okay. school. And I remember it being horrifying and scary. Um even just like the idea of like having someone put their arm around me. I was like, 
you know, it's so crazy how that's like such a big deal. And it's, you know, it still is. It's like, to me, I'm like, dating is such an interesting thing. And I definitely remember feeling, um, I didn't date in high school, but I, I was more focused on acting at the time, but just yeah. dating in general, it is, it is nerve wracking. And, um, I do remember obviously those first feelings of, you know, a flicker of, of something <laughs> with someone it's, um, it's always, it's, uh, it's nerve wracking, but exciting. Yeah. I was going to say the way, even you saying it and smiling about it, it's like, yeah, it is a good feeling in there, it but it feeling. is, it makes you sweat a little bit. Cause you're like, what is this? Right. Right. Um, and then your character, Grace, obviously experiences a tragedy that we find out completely changed her life. She's under the microscope of, of her peers in school as well. You're in the spotlight. When you're under these microscopes, how do we continue to just be ourselves? Like you said, you are doing executive producing now. You are just being mindful of everything you do. But how do you make sure that you're still yourself every time you walk out that door? Yeah, I think I... I try not to ever really put on an act unless I'm literally acting on something. I, I really am I'm trying to always be authentic to myself. Um, it's hard, I, you know, you can definitely be taken advantage of if, if you're vulnerable to talk about, you know, vulnerable not to talk about your mental health or your relationships or, you know, the, the intimate parts of your life, people can very much take advantage of it. And that's, yeah sucks and is a sad reality so there's a level of like protecting myself I'm you know I'm aware of what I want to talk about and what I don't I think it's like just having very clear boundaries and I think I've learned what those boundaries are over time and um, I think yeah that's a good that's a good way of looking at it it's just knowing knowing your personal boundaries knowing where um, what you want to share with the world and what you don't. And I also just try to be as authentic as I can on social media so that if you met me in person, I still look the way that I do on social media. And you'd be like, oh, she's the same person because yeah. I wouldn't want to put on an act as Lily. Like it's just me. Right. No. And I just want to say, I appreciate that about you. And thank you for being honest about mental health, especially during this time, because all of us are going through something. So yeah, of course, thank you for being honest. Um, the last thing we got to wrap out of here. I know you posted it was Madeline's birthday. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're missing everybody, right? I know everyone. There's got to be a text chain. How do you guys stay in touch? When are we going to get to see you guys back together? Have we heard any word? Yeah, we're we're actually going back this weekend to Vancouver to start season five. <laughs> so we are heading back. Um, and the gang will be together in a couple short weeks after we quarantine. Basically, we have to quarantine once we're in Canada and make sure we're all COVID free before we can get back on set. But so very soon we'll be reunited. And yes, there is always a text chain going on. It's not super interesting at the moment. It's usually like, hey, did you guys hear we're going back? Like it's not, it's nothing too exciting. But, but yeah, of course, we're very, I think we're very excited too. Um, I haven't seen everyone all together and five months so it'll be really oh. really nice 